everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is the Phoenix Cloud, and this is going to be a general energy reading for uh, the next two weeks for the Earth signs. Um, that would be uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, I almost forgot for a second. My mind is so stuck on Aries. I don't know what it is, but Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, <laughs> I guess that happens sometimes. Um, so this is a general energy for uh, the next two weeks for for the earth signs um, you know guys take what resonates with you leave what doesn't um, and this is an intuitive oracle reading so this is a little bit different from tarot I read oracle cards um, there's a few oracle readers that I really love one of them is San Tarot she actually combines like a the good tarot and um, this Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed, um, and and I really love her. Her name's Sam Taro. If you guys want to check her out, but uh, there are a few of us on here that read Oracle cards, and I happen to be one of them. Um, not that I don't like tarot or anything. I'll actually be getting into doing some tarot readings. They're a little more detailed, um, but I I wanted to start my channel with what I'm most comfortable with, and that's doing oracle readings so um these are intuitive they're general energy for the next two weeks for the earth sign so whatever resonates with you take that and whatever doesn't leave it um this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus so if something you know if it really doesn't resonate with you then i would say please go check whatever your rising and your moon sign is i know me being leo i know um <laughs> that a lot of times um if I'm really not feeling it, it's probably my Scorpio rising. So I go check my Scorpio and, um, you know, that may be where I am energetically. So uh, with that said, I also want to say quickly before I get started, you know, guys, um, don't put your faith in the cards or the readers, okay, that you listen to or you watch, all right? Um, we're mainly just you know here for entertainment so to speak and you know I me personally uses the cards as like you know I'm driving my own ship right because you're the captain of your own ship but sometimes I need somebody to send me a signal that I'm close to the harbor and that's like a lighthouse so if I can pick up that little swirl once in a while great I know that I'm going in the right direction and that's how I tend to use these cards okay so with that said, I'm gonna pull a lot of different types of cards. Anything I'm using, I'm gonna put in the description box below. If you want to do a private reading with me, you can contact me um, by email. That's gonna, all of that information is gonna be in the description box below. Like I said, it is intuitive oracle reading, so if you'd like to do a private with me, you can contact me. I am open to doing them right now. Um, so, I think I covered all my bases um, yeah everything's gonna be in this description box please you know if you guys like this video like this video if you really like it then please go ahead and subscribe thank you for visiting let's get going um, I already shuffled these cards and I already cleared them off I do before I do any any sign or any group of signs um, and so I, for you guys, sometimes I'll get messages and the messages will be like one word about the overall energy. So what happened this time was I felt like I should actually pull a tarot um, and two cards popped out. They're the Queen of Wands and um, the Three of Cups you see here. Um, and what I really felt from this was like um, that like either some of you are about to make something happen in these next two weeks that's gonna cause you to celebrate or you are um, have very powerfully created something that you are very excited to celebrate if that makes any sense I'm trying to figure out how to say this so you know because the Queen of Wands that wands are all about um, number one she's divine feminine but wands are all about like creativity um, manifestation um, fire energy uh, things moving forward and quickly um, 
I think I said creation, things like that. So this is like the celebration of something being created in the next two weeks. So by the end of August, I feel like a lot of earth signs are going to be in this energy. And that's the general energy I have. It's very, you know, joyful. Um, and on the flip side, you know, this three of cups can also for me often mean like a third party type of thing. Um, but I'm going to keep this as general as I can. So this could be somebody finding out about some type of third party relationship here. Uh, but I think I want to really stick with the general energy of, you know, powerfully creating and then celebrating like seeing seeing the fruit of whatever you guys have been working on okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and shuffle one more time here i'm the worst shuffler guys i really really am i'm not even gonna lie about that sometimes your girl just don't know how to shuffle really well <laughs> and it's all good it's all good um i already did a meditation i asked my spirit my guides um, all my relations to, to come in and speak. So we got two cards out. They're kind of stuck together. I'm going to do three of these oracle cards. And these are the spirit animal oracle. They're like my favorite card ever. They just speak to my soul. So I feel like we're going to get some really powerful messages. Oh, yeah. I just need one more card, please. One more card. There it is. Bam. Okay. Ooh. Great. So far we have out the stag spirit, the ant spirit, and the cow spirit. Um, really beautiful cards. Uh, cow spirit is a very abundant card for me. Hmm. Okay, so the orphaned card came out um, with the stag spirit of take the lead. So I feel like um, the energy these next two weeks, somebody is feeling that they have been left out of something. Um, I'm also feeling that they were abandoned in the middle of a project um, or something was dumped on them. Can you guys see that? There was something dumped on them and now they've got to deal with it or handle it. So somebody might be dealing with this these next two weeks, um, feeling kind of left out in the cold and abandoned. Um, and this stag spirit card is about taking the lead. So I feel like some of you are really like, even though you're, you're in this space right now, um, you're going to be in a place where you're taking the lead and you're really stepping up and, um, you know, taking over whatever was, was the ball was dropped on or whatever was let go of. I keep get I got the word let go of. Um, so something was let go of and now there's this feeling of like abandonment or, or orphan, but spirit is saying, you know, that the, the, you're going to take the lead. Somebody's going to end up turning this around and taking the lead. Okay. And for others of you, this is about, um, actually taking, taking the lead. Um, maybe uh, yes, new jobs looking for new jobs or finding a new job in the next two weeks. Um, I'm going to maybe pull another card on this too, because I'm really interested about this orphan thing, this abandonment. Um, now I'm beginning to, to understand that this is about somebody feeling very abandoned um, and needs to step into taking the, the lead into their life. Um, like maybe you were so 
concentrated on is that the word no you were so concerned about somebody else that you left yourself out so this is now you you're feeling abandoned you're feeling orphaned right now like you don't have the family surrounding you you don't have the backing surrounding you so spirit is really telling you like now is the time to take the lead okay um, I'm feeling that energy there but I think I'm gonna pull another card on this um, yeah, let me, I'm going to read the rest and then I'm going to come back to here. Okay. Um, it's, it's so interesting how, how the cards work, right? So this card is number 58 and this is card five that came out on top of it. The ant spirit is card one. Okay. Can you see that? It's card one <laughs> and it came out with a card 12, which is literally another one right and then a consecutive number of two and then the cow spirit came out it's number 15 and the truth be told is the number 14 card so it's just interesting I always notice that so okay um, what we have here is ant spirit this is time to collaborate you know ants ants work really well by themselves and they also work really well together and I feel like for some of you you've been doing a lot yourself um, maybe that's also the energy of this orphaned um, thing and it's time to take the lead uh, for some of you um, you know you do you work well by yourself but you work well in a partnership too and it's and some of you get to collaborate with some other people or work with some other people in a partnership right now it's really gonna catapult you propel you forward in whatever you're working on especially when it comes to work okay and I also see this a little bit as um, a relationship card too and this could be like in um, a friendship or you know a relationship with somebody in your family like coming together um, and uh, you know doing work together or um, celebrating together because we did have this energy of like celebration and creating things and going forward moving quickly forward okay um, and ants you know they really are amazing little creatures it's definitely time to collaborate with spirit also is what I'm hearing um, you know because we do so much ourselves that we often forget that we we do and then we don't leave things in the hands of spirit to handle the rest so for many this is this is you not taking on all the burden yourself and collaborating with other people um, specifically for some of you it's going to be at work on your job and others of you it's going to be with family and friends to get some things done some things that you're working at the next couple of weeks okay really nice and ants like it's funny because I have ants on my desk at work <laughs> at my regular job and um, I just watch them they can they're really powerful little things <clears throat> by themselves but when they're together man they work together as a team you know and I think that it's wonderful to be independent and strike out on your own but man the wisdom you gain in becoming a team with other people and what you can create when you collaborate together and um, and create something is pretty amazing too um, this change in the wind is great with this card because it tells me that there's definitely change coming and that this aloneness that some of you have experienced of like I'm always doing it myself I'm always handling it myself and is going to change is going to change there's some things that are going to switch up by definitely at the end of this month for some and by September I'm hearing for others um, there's definitely some sort of change coming and I think for some of you there's going to be some things illuminated there's going to be some things you find out about um, probably surrounding work or a relationship that you didn't know before and this is going to change the way you operate going forward okay um, now the the last card here is the cow spirit the miracles are endless I love this card because this is very much about like 
knowing and trusting that spirit is 100% always got your back. And number two, this is an abundance card for me. Um, and abundance is really a state of mind. Um, and you just see all the beautiful flowers around this cow. You know, cows are really revered and respected, um, darn near worshipped in places like India, you know, because they're always providing their abundant things, you know. Um, and I think for many of you, this is about remembering the innocence of your childhood when you knew let anything was possible. I feel like many of you are moving into this space and I feel like there's like some kind of um, abundant miracle coming in for some of you uh, the next couple of weeks. Definitely feeling that spirit of like abundance, innocence, remembering what it is to believe, okay? Um, truth be told, this is really interesting because, let me get into this card for a second. This is, Trusting the wisdom of your heart. This is trusting the wisdom of your heart. So, okay, got it. So, somebody, okay, outside of this miracles and financial stuff, outside of that, somebody is dealing with trusting, trusting a miracle when it comes to a situation with a relationship or love. There's a mask that this owl is standing on, right? And owls really represent wisdom. And if you notice, there's a window that that's open inside of the owl's chest, and there's, you know, um, hearts flying out of it. It looks like they're flying out of it. They could be flying in too, because everything has, you know, there's a balance to everything. So what I'm experiencing in this card right now is that some of you have been waiting on something. You've been waiting on a, a truth or a wisdom in a situation when it comes to being in a relationship. And I feel like some of you are going to get it the next two weeks. Like it's, gonna, it's going to be revealed for you. And I think this is very much about using the wisdom of your heart to make your decisions um, instead of using your thoughts. Um, and seeing clearly there's a mask here you know and if you know anything about owls like they can pretty much see in the dark they're very you know nocturnal type of hunters um so it says truth be told i think that somebody's gonna find out some stuff somebody's finally going to reveal something to you um, when it comes to a romantic relationship um and I think they're gonna remove a mask and might tell you exactly how they're feeling about you. Yeah, I don't feel like a huge negativity with this. This could be somebody who's like been in love with you for a long time or has been feeling you like that. You know what I'm saying, our signs? And you're just like, it's weird, he's flirty, but I don't know. But <laughs> you get what I'm saying, right? It feels like that. Okay, so we're going to do the Power of Surrender cards. We're going to find out what it is that y'all earth signs get to surrender to these next two weeks. What's the energy of surrender for the earth signs? What's the energy of surrender for our beautiful earth signs, spirit? Thank you so much. What do they need to know? I call these my blind spot cards because I feel like they remind me of stuff that I need to focus on that I sometimes forget it's like that thing you know it's there but then you're kind of like eh, I don't really want to deal with that right now <laughs> okay I got one out surrender your desire to control people let's see if spirits got anything else for us okay any other messages for the earth signs. Any other messages for the earth signs, please? Any messages for the earth signs? Any messages for the earth signs? There we go. Okay, awesome. Hmm, okay. So for some of you, yeah, creativity. I think maybe some of you are focused on it and finding your happiness in doing something creative. 
you know, finding happiness and doing something creative. I get that energy from these two cards too. Like actually physically doing something because wands are about action, like taking action to be happy, taking action to celebrate. Um, and with this creativity, surrender to creativity card coming out, I feel like this is in this energy of this wands since it is also creativity, okay? Um, so yeah, definitely feeling like some of you might finally go take a class or go do something that you've been wanting to do or try. Wow, my cat's being super creepy right now. <laughs> Hi, babe. She's like literally sitting here watching me do this. Like, it's hilarious. So you gotta see it. Anyway, it says surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. Bam. Really beautiful energy, guys. And I definitely feel it too. It's interesting because as you go on and as you begin to pull cards, it's, it tells you more and more. It gets a little more detailed. And with saying that, I'm going to pull this life purpose oracle because I feel like that energy right now of like somebody's really wondering like they're very much in the space of like what's my life purpose right now what do i really want to be doing switching jobs especially with the surrender to creativity i don't know why it's coming up but i'm gonna see if spirit will give us you know maybe two cards here for some of you This energy for earth signs. Who needs to know? Yes, there we go. Okay. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. That's the practice card. Any other messages, spirit? Regarding life purpose. There we go. Any other messages, spirit? No. Okay, artist. Hmm. Nice. Okay. So somebody is, seems like they're contemplating taking on art or some of you think about it. Um, some of you maybe don't know, you know, that you're an artist. I mean, these two go together, practice and artist. So um, it says artist, engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. So some of you guys are going to really benefit in many areas of your life by challenging yourself and getting surrendering to your creative creativity and working in art some of you are just going to straight up decide that you're going to work in art and others of you are going to begin incorporating this into your life I, and you know i feel it's really important guys to like to be in that space like when we when we're not creative life is kind of dull you know what i mean Okay, and then the other one that we have here is surrender your desire to control people. So some of you are having a little bit of issues these next couple weeks and spirit is reminding you to, to let go of your need and your desire to control people. You know, everybody gets to live their life the way they want it to. Um, it's not for us to tell them what to do, okay? That's a form of manipulation when we're constantly trying to control everything, control the outcome of everything, and control other people, okay? Being over-controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room, okay? Some of you might be in like a panic mode because, you know, a relationship ended and you felt like you got left you know, um, or the codependent vibe I, I get as well. And that's why you need to take the lead now. But definitely time to surrender your desire to control other people. Okay, so let's move right along. I want, don't want to make these videos too, too long. You know, I'm trying to keep them to 30 minutes because I do like to use all of these cards. So, but we're going to get some um, messages from the angels right now. Okay, guys? From the earth signs, angels, what are the messages you have from the earth signs, angels? Thank you so much. Told y'all, I'm not the best shuffler, okay? 
<laughs> and messages for my earth signs from the angels, please. Messages from the angels, please. yourself and focus on service so focus on service is about being in service to yourself and being in service to others because the greatest gift that we get that we can give um, is to give of ourselves give lovingly of ourselves to other people give support give love give you know, if people have a need, serving people in, in the area of having a need, the greatest gift we can get is in the giving because there's so much that we end up receiving by giving, okay? So Spirit is saying, focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continually feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation in all that you do. That is definitely, see there, creating lots and lots of beautiful balance in your life. Okay, guys? And then we have the ground yourself card. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. Yeah, I definitely feel that too, guys. I definitely feel like, you know, it, as much as you're grounding you're also, some of you are really working at having that balance between your creative side, um, your working side, your spiritual side, all of your different elements here, okay? Um, and Spirit is also saying, yeah, definitely time to ground yourself, okay? And I'm gonna do, actually I'm not, I'm gonna do a, uh, let's see what's up with love. Y'all got nothing about love the, the next two weeks. Let's see what, Let's see what Spirit's saying about love. We're going to do these Whispers of Love cards right now and see what's the deal, okay? You guys aren't really dealing with, like, I don't see any new love or anything coming in. I see maybe something ending that may not have been very healthy. It might have been more focused on that person, and now it's time to focus on you. Well, let's see what we got here, okay? These are hard to shuffle. You can't shuffle these cards. You just gotta, you just gotta pull them. Oh, great. Okay. Woo. Oh, so it looks like somebody is going to meet and make a love connection um, with possibly like um, a soulmate. Um, this is the Union of Hearts card. You see that? They're like their roots are the same and they're becoming one tree. They're, you know, entwined with each other. So very much a deep connection with somebody these next two weeks. The union of hearts, a love connection, defi a love connection defies explanation. So some of you are definitely either just met somebody and in this energy or you're about to meet somebody the next couple of weeks here at the end of August and have this powerful, powerful connection. Here is the take a chance on love card. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So some of you have been stopping, right? When it comes to love, instead of giving it a chance and spirit is saying, look, it's coming or it's here, give this a chance, okay? Give this a chance and an opportunity. Um, and for others of you, I feel like I, I always get this energy from this card. Like this is somebody who's been in your life, male or female, I don't, you know, and you can arrange that however you want, okay? Like this is a friend or somebody who's been in your life and either you right now are in the space of like maybe revealing, okay? I think, did we talk? Yeah, we did. Where, where was it? Yes, this truth be told, somebody coming out and saying how they feel about somebody. So either you are going to be doing that or somebody else is going to be doing that. 
okay? And this could very well be a friendship, somebody you've been knowing for a very long time is what I get from that energy. Okay, guys? Um, and it looks like, you know, you guys really think the same. You're kind of in the same world. There's this guy with like, you see like the planets, he's in the upper corner there. He's got like planets and moons and stuff there. And this is a divine union, definitely a divine union. I mean, it goes right here. You've probably been hanging out with your soulmate, you guys, for like ever. And you're just like, no, nope, that's Bradley. Oh yeah, that's Michelle. Okay. <laughs> and there's more to it. So this is officially the end of the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, like I said before, take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. Um, and if nothing resonates at all, then please go check your sun, moon, rising um, and Venus, okay? If you like this video, go ahead and like this video. And if you like, like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna put all of the information for my cards and how to reach out to me in the description. Until next time, guys, we'll see you in September. Namaste.